I bought a brand new Xbox 360 from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna open it up, see if they actually send us a brand new 360, and then we'll hopefully take a trip back to 2005 and open this console up. Now let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. Now the listing for this console is a little bit confusing. It says sealed in the title. It also says NIOB in the title, which I assume stands for new and original box. All right, so here's the box, and at first glance, the whole entire corner is just like ripped apart there. Uh, we're, we're very scratched up on the front. We actually have a security device and clothes sticker on the front. I don't know why that's there. That's I'm going to leave that there for now. That's weird. And flipping over the side here, we've got... Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. All, all right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this, but... Okay, that is not an original security seal. All right. Um, yeah, so zooming in here, you can see there are... There's a piece of shipping tape there, a piece of shipping tape here, and this is definitely not sealed in the original box. So it... <sighs> If it was sealed, it would have the original like circular sticker right there. And just flopping this thing around, I'm not very hopeful for what's inside either because it doesn't feel like original packaging. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside because I'm very curious now. Extremely misleading. I don't know if the people listening to this stuff just don't know what they're doing or they're just trying to rip me off. But let's let's go ahead and see what's inside of here. And holy crap, no. <laughs> what on earth? All right, so definitely been used before. Not knew it all it this is such a confusing listing like no way no way no way they sent me this console saying it was new even if it was new and open box why would they say it's sealed and if it was new and open box it would not have all the stuff missing it wouldn't have a broken 360 oh man this is i paid like i didn't pay crazy money for this but i paid i paid 300 bucks for it so no way man like you get a couple cords thrown in here. All right, I'm, I'm about to send a message to Goodwill right now and tell them that I need a refund. But uh, we're going to continue with this video and see what we got. So we have a console from 07. Now our re one redeeming factor here will be from the Blades dashboard. It really doesn't matter because it's not worth 300 bucks if this console is not new in the original box or new sealed. You have a few of the little pamphlets here. We have our, yeah, like, so usually this bag right here is used for the power supply, I believe. Um, but they just, they just threw in some random manuals and stuff. All right, uh, yeah, that, that's that's pretty concerning. Now, overall, the 360 doesn't look too bad, other than that side that's completely smashed up. Uh, not sure what size hard drive we have. It doesn't say anything on it, so I think it's a 20 gig, either 20 or 60. And then we do have an HDMI port in the back, so it's not one of the, like the OG OG 360s, but it is one of the older ones. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go send a message to Goodwill and see if they can get me a refund, but, oh, it's not even a controller in here, so. <laughs> Dude, every time I think about this, it's even worse and worse. Like, let's see what, let's see what was supposed to be included here. So we should have uh, the 360 here, and then we should have a wireless controller, a hard drive, Xbox Live headset, Ethernet connectivity table, 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 component AV cable, and a power supply. Of course, I don't actually see that list listed there. But what we do have is the console. We have a hard drive. We have a component AV cable, and then we have a power supply. So not nearly everything that's supposed to be included. Oh, we're also supposed to have two games. As you can see here, Marvel Ultimate Alliance and Forza 2. Those are not included either. Uh, so they're just really messing with me right now. This console is worth probably 80 bucks maybe, if it works. I mean, like a brand new sealed 360 is worth a few hundred bucks at least. Um, but open, not even complete. Like, I'm not happy right now, guys. So I sent a message to the Goodwill that I bought it from. I'll show the message on the screen if you want to read it. But basically, I told them that I wanted to return it for a full refund because... Obviously, it's not as described. They said it was new. They said it was sealed. Um, it's none of those things. So very disappointed right now. But first thing I want to do is actually take a look at a couple more things in this console. So first thing you'll notice is this flap right here is actually not broken. The spring is not gone, which is very surprising. Um, I'm also going to take the faceplate off and see if this thing has been opened up before. All right, so faceplate off, and they do have a seal right here. And it looks like it hasn't been broken, but it does look like it's been tampered with. So let me zoom in on it and show you guys. All right, so looking at the seal right here, it does look a little bit sketchy, but I think it's fully intact. So I don't think it's been opened before. And then if you look here on the back, uh, usually if it's been opened, you'll see some wear and tear around these little holes right here. Um, I don't see any there. So I at least don't think it's been opened, but let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it even works. So we're plugged in now. I really hope this works. Let's go ahead and do a countdown. Three, two, one. All right, it's turning on. No red rings yet. All right, cool. So I'll show you guys just so you can see. Oh, no, wait. We... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at this, guys. This I bought this console is brand new, sealed, in the original box. And what do we get? We get a broken console, red ring of death, not even a free game inside. You ruined my free toy! 
All right, so I plugged in another power supply to see if that was the issue, uh, still rendering a death. So we're gonna try to get the error code here. And I honestly forgot how to do this. I haven't done it in like a decade, but I just looked up a video. Basically you turn the console on. Well, I guess I should plug in the power supply first. All right, now it's on. So what you wanna do is hold down the sync button and then press the eject button. So you've got, that's a zero, that's a one, that's a zero, and that's a two. So zero, one, zero, two. Now let me look up that error code and see what it tells us. So I looked it up and error code 0102 is honestly like one of the worst uh, error codes you can get because you have to reflow the GPU, the RAM, and it doesn't last long. I've done reflows like more than a decade ago. No point doing it because it just does not last very long. But what I'm going to do is take the hard drive here, plug it into another 360 so we can see what's on the hard drive and maybe maybe salvage part of this console. But let's go ahead and try that out. So I have our hard drive from the broken 360 plugged into this 360 right here. And this one is actually on the Blaze dashboard. And by the way, I'll be giving away this Blaze dashboard 360 on a whatnot auction coming up soon. And if you don't know what whatnot is, it's a live streaming auction app, kind of like eBay, but it's live streaming. So I'll hop on and I'll sell or give away a product and I'll show it on the screen. And then you guys can bid um, in the moment. But like I said, I'll be giving away this Blaze dashboard complete in the box coming up soon. And I also have a PS5 to give away. So I have this brand new God of War digital PS5 that I'll be giving away soon. Uh, so let me show you how you can enter to win. So first thing you want to do is hit the link down below. It'll take you to this page where you click claim your credit and sign up and you'll get $15 of whatnot credit. Now, once you've done that, you'll open up the app, go down to the middle, hit the search button, go to the top, type in Jacob Bar. You'll see my profile, click on that, click see all shows, and you'll see all my shows here. Go ahead and bookmark all of them. So you can go ahead and click on any of the live streams, go to the bottom right hand corner where it says store, then go to buy now. And you'll see these gift cards right here that you can use your credit on. And if you also come back to my shows page and click on PS5 giveaway, that's when I'll be giving away the PS5. So all I gotta do is be present in the stream, make sure your address and everything is verified and you'll be eligible to win. So we have our Blades dashboard 360 booted up. Let's go ahead and see if we can find what's on this, uh, on this hard drive. We're booted up into the Blades 360 now, and I had a scare for a second. I guess the hard drive from the other console is on a newer dashboard because when I booted up, it wanted me to update the whole console here, and I almost accidentally did, but I thankfully I didn't. So we're still on the Blades dashboard, and let's go ahead and see if there's anything on this hard drive. We'll go over to System, go to Memory, and 10 gig, 10 gig free. So this probably is a 20 gig hard drive. Probably has like I don't know 17 gigs out of the box. And let's go ahead and see if we got any games here. We got Amp 2, Assault Heroes. It looks like I got 24 games. So Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 4. So one thing I'm trying to figure out here is if the other console was on NXE, Blades, or Metro. And now seeing FIFA 09, I know it's at least on NXE because FIFA 09, like they, they upgraded to NXE in like 2008, I think. Um, so we're at least on the NXE dashboard. I don't see any games yet that I think would be as on the Metro. Modern Warfare 2 is, I think it's 09 as well. Uh, so we're probably still on the, the NXE dashboard on the other console. Check out Gamer Profiles. Oh, we do. Okay, nice. I'm trying to see if I can boot up into one of these other profiles because like when I booted up, it wasn't letting me and it actually might not let me because I am on the Blades. So I actually, what I might need to do here is actually find a newer console to plug in. Let me try that real quick. So on to another console. And by the way, this one will be in a whatnot auction as well for a giveaway. Make sure to check that out. But it does look like it's working now. We are on the Metro dashboard here and I can see Ben H and Player. So let's try out Ben H. Uh, looks like that was that's a profile I have not created, so that must have been on this hard drive. Gamer score, he's got 1800. Nothing too crazy, nothing cool here. Sometimes people will have like little custom messages, like a bio that'll say like I'm a boss or something, which is always funny. Let's check out the achievements. So we played Modern Warfare 2, FIFA 09. So it looks like uh, Modern Warfare 2 is the latest game played. So I did check, and Modern Warfare 2 came out in 09. So that means the other console was probably on NXE. They could have been playing on uh, in a later year like 2015 or something but chances are probably not because you also got FIFA 09, Force Unleashed, Call of Duty 2, Halo 3, GTA 4, NHL 09. It's actually a decent amount of games but uh, not too much of a gamer score and uh, yeah let's check out see if they had any like demos downloaded. Oh we got some these are games that are actually downloaded right now so Assault Heroes, Cloning, Clyde, Force, Fusion Frenzy 2 demo. I wonder if it'll let me play any of these games. Hexic HD? Oh and it looks like I can. So yeah, just scrolling through here, got some games, got some demos, and let me know down below, did you guys ever play demos on the 360? Because back when I had a 360, that was like the main thing I did, because I, you know, of course, of course, games cost money, didn't have a ton of money, so I was like, yeah, let me just download these free free demos and play games for days, and that's, that's exactly what I did. So let me know down below if you guys did the same thing. So I'm not sure what else to say about this Xbox other than we got big time ripped off here. Uh, supposed to get a brand new Xbox sealed in the box, and this thing was broken, not sealed, red ring of death, like the trifecta, 
just not good. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I did hear back from Goodwill. Basically, I sent them that first message and I actually felt a little bit bad after I sent that because I was, I was a little bit harsh, but uh, nothing too crazy. I just was not happy in the moment. Uh, but they replied back and said they apologized for the error and they, they sent me a return label. I just need to ship it back and get a full refund. So I don't think it was malicious in any, any way. I think they just, whoever listed it, just was not familiar with game consoles and saw a piece of tape and assumed it was brand new and sealed. Maybe they'll, they'll learn from that. But uh, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that. But thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.